and then they get chased and then they mm -hmm. sort of wiggle their way through this crack between the abandoned buildings would this be fatal classic millennium balcony so would it be fatal i mean it's they're they're skipping along the walls which in principle is skipping it's glancing so maybe okay mm -hmm. like like if you hit a, your car against the wall that's that's all bad but if you like glance off mm -hmm. of it maybe not okay not maybe maybe not mm -hmm. bad it may be okay so my estimate of this when you ask this question so so here's a ship and it's tall it's got to be mm -hmm. at least two meters because that's about mm -hmm. how tall people are so let's call it three maybe four okay. this this is what this width is yeah and so my question is how quickly does this ship when it when it hits the wall when it scrapes along the wall how much is it jostled how much by, by how much is it moved over in a very short amount of time so gosh it's it's metal on metal right right which which I'm okay with. Like for example, underneath your truck, you have a skid plate that's designed for metal to hit some to hit something mm -hmm. in the road, and I can bounce right off of it. The question that I have is is if you're strapped down in your seat, and if the entire ship like jostles, what does that do to the person? Right? And so so when I was looking at this, you get it scrapes against the wall, and you get about maybe a meter of deflection. So your whole yep. ship like drops meter in a very short amount of time i think that would mess up a person i think it would because it's it's metal it's a structural metal mm -hmm. hitting structural metal in the ship very this is sort of no, no give no stuff. softness yeah there it is right. it's not like a trampoline which like which you can jump on and it balances you is you're, you're jumping on concrete you're jumping on smash something real hard real fast right, right. so you you get moved say a meter or two mm -hmm. in many many fractions of a second because it's such a hard material. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know how many fractions of it, like how small, but concrete or metal on metal is fast. I mean, given the speed of the ship, which is hard to estimate, but I would mm -hmm. say it's something like tenths or hundredths of a second that you're moving mm -hmm. a meter. Yeah. That's a lot of movement real fast. It's a lot of movement real fast. And then it happens again and again and again. Yep, yep, yep. But maybe, maybe it's okay. Maybe this ship, which which was, if I remember, it was like a a ship that was commandeered from like poachers or something, or, or something smugglers like or something. Mm -hmm. And so, but maybe this in the Star Trek universe they have inertial dampeners, so you can you can take you can take like jostles inside the ship. Maybe. Yeah, so what is it? What does inertial dampening do? It turns down the mass of every okay. everything inside the ship okay so that not so that accelerating becomes extremely easy okay yeah that means if you get jostled your entire body moves goes with the ship easy, goes with the ship and any acceleration is easily transferred throughout mm -hmm. your body because mm -hmm. the mass is so low so you just dial down right. the inertia which allows any large acceleration to not be felt by the body because it's easily right. transferred around Effectively, you can move with the motion instead of being heavy and slow to the motion, and then there's a lot of force applied to you to make make right. you move. Or like your yeah, your organs sitting inside you have to like fall down your rib cage to feel yep. an elasticity so it can be pulled back up. If there's yep. a really low, if there's a really low amount of inertia, then they just stay put, stay put. Whereas if it's high inertia, they they go down and up. Yep. Mm -hmm. So I think if this ship has inertial dampening i think i'm okay with it i'm actually okay I think, yeah 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 so they, they actually wouldn't feel much of the jostling inside then mm -hmm. they would just sort of feel a little something maybe but that's it they just bounce around with the ship but it's not like when you're on a it's, yeah i guess it's like on a when you're on a cruise ship and the ship is bouncing but you bounce with it so it's not bad as right. opposed to if you're on a small boat that's real choppy waves like you can get thrown around on the boat and then you're right. hitting the yeah. wall that, that that's bad mm -hmm. Then if you turn down the mass of the ship and every, every occupant inside, not a problem. Mm -hmm. Just bounce together.